All right, girls basketball showdown tonight, a top 10 showdown. Shepherd Hill taking on Neshoba. Shepherd Hill has been playing great basketball, and that trend continuing tonight. Let's head out to the hill for all of the highlights. Pick this one up in the first quarter. Shepherd Hill up by six. Neshoba's Julia Roth getting it to drop, and the Chieftains down by four. Morgan O'Malley for Shepherd Hill, working hard in the trees. Lays it up and in, Rams up by six. Neshoba driving, Molly Springer with a big block. And then Abby McNulty from beyond the arc, hits one for the Chieftains, they're down three. Julia Dandridge, the rebound and the putback for the Rams, they're up by five. Shepherd Hills, Bailey Savage from beyond the arc. Rams up eight, Neshoba's Roth. The runner, Chieftains down by nine. Second quarter now, shots off the mark. Ingrid Lindstrom going up strong. Shepherd Hills, Kira Foss through traffic. Rams up by 13. Samantha Maglioni, the runner for Neshoba and the Chieftains down by 14 at that point. Michaela Norton with a nice steal. Neshoba on the break, Anna Cressman, the fadeaway jumper. Chieftains hanging tough. Dandridge with a quick hoop. Shepherd Hill gets the win tonight, convincing fashion, 53 to 38. Senior night at West Boylston. The Lions hosting Narragansett in boys basketball. First quarter, Dave Rizzuto with a big swat for the WB. Lions going to the hoop. Ryan Rizzuto, the rebound, the putback, and he's fouled. WB up by two. Big night for the Rizzutos. Andrew Lebrecht to Drew Bostick for the lay-in. Lions up by three. Then it's Alex Tata to Bostick. Drew the finish. He's a man for all seasons, be it football, hoop, whatever you want. WB up by five after one. Second quarter, Tata with the three. West Boston up by eight. Justin Cranston feeding David Rizzuto. Rizzuto going up strong in the paint for two. Ben Raymond beyond the arc. And Gansett is within five. On the inbounds play, David Rizzuto, strong for two, WB up by seven. Tata, straight away three, WB up four, but Narragansett comes back and they win it 50 to 48. All right, tomorrow night, we will be at Doherty High School. Bartlett and Doherty should be a great one in boys basketball. We will be broadcasting the game live right here on Charter TV 3 at 7 p.m. Two high-flying, high-scoring offenses. They'll tip it off at 7. We hope to see you then. Let's go and crossbow. Holy Cross at Bucknell. Men's basketball action tonight. First half. Bucknell up by 8. Robert Champion dropping home 3. Staters down by 5. Carl Charles. Taking the feed, going up strong. Holy Cross down by seven. Champion moving well without the ball. Charles with a good feed. Champion and Holy Cross down by four. Nana Fallon. Big drop step and a thunder dunk for Bucknell. Later in the first half, Holy Cross down by nine. Malachi Alexander. Deep three, you got it. Cutting the lead to six. Bucknell, the top team in the Patriot League and hitting a lot of threes tonight in front of their home crowd. The Bison up by 11, and the kids are loving it. Former Worcester Academy star Pat Benzin working hard. Benzin gets two, wanted a foul as well. Holy Cross down by eight. Second half. Champion putting it to the floor. Champion the sweep, the finish. Not enough, though. Bucknell wins 82 to 68. All right, big boxing night at the Twin River Casino on Saturday night. Kendrick Ball Jr. taking on Patrick Leal in a four round bout. Round one ball doesn't need much time. 29 seconds into the round, lands a heavy body shot. Leal would not recover. TKO for Ball, the Worcester middleweight now 5 0 with four knockouts. Lightweight Jermaine Ortiz putting his 2-0 record on the line against undefeated Canton Miller. Round two, Ortiz landing a big right to Miller's head, throwing a flurry of shots, including a good left hook. Fourth round, Ortiz landing shot after shot. He can switch and go regular. He can go southpaw. 
Digs to the body, goes upstairs to the head as well. Jermaine, so impressive. Look at how quick his hands are, and he lets him go. He wins a majority a decision. Uh, we both came undefeated as 2-0. You know, we both had good amateur backgrounds. And the kid came, he came to fight. So it's hard to discuss. Uh, it was just a tough fight. It was, it, was, it was a fight that, you know, I didn't, it wasn't my best fight, but it was a fight that made me go to distance. And it was a good fight for my, for my career, and it was a fight that I'm definitely going to learn about, and it's definitely going to be a fight that's going to make me come better my next one. All right, Kyrie Gray coming in the ring with two belts, taking on Courtney Pennington and putting those belts on the line. Fourth round, Pennington on the right, lands a combo, knocks down Kyrie. Later in the round, Kyrie with a flurry and landing a good left hook to the head of Pennington. Round six, Gray landing the left hook, Pennington Coming back with a strong overhand right. Seventh round, Pennington landing blows. Kyrie tough as nails, taking some big shots. Pennington wins a unanimous decision. He said in the ring after the fight he would give Kyrie Gray a rematch. So we will see what happens there. And Paul Pearl and the Harvard hockey team winning their first round game of the Beanpot tonight. Paul Pearl, the former Holy Cross coach, former Holy Cross standout as well. He's the associate head coach of Harvard. Wednesday afternoon, 12.30 in the afternoon, the Worcester Railers celebrating their one-year anniversary. So head down to their offices at the DCU Center. Cake, giveaways, <laughs> Eric Lindquist is going to be there. What else do you need? 12.30 <laughs> on Wednesday, the Worcester Railers. One year. Yeah, I one year already. It. Isn't that it crazy? Fast, yeah. Very quickly. And October 14th is the date, the home opener for the Railers. Yes, absolutely. All right. Well, that is all we have for now. We'll see you back here tomorrow night at 6. For Kevin Shea, I'm Olivia Lemon. Thank you for watching and have a great night. Mm -hmm.